Calvin Phillips is still being linked with a move to Everton. There's lots of stories bouncing around today that the 28-year-old midfield player from Manchester City is a top target for Sean Dyche at Everton before the transfer window closes. Everton have won domestic loan space left. Uh, Phillips looks set to leave Manchester City. I think City originally wanted to sell him, but that doesn't look likely given the size of his wages as well. Uh, Everton remain the most likely destination, according to sources today, for him to come. And um, a deal is expected to be concluded before deadline day. Obviously, uh, the Premier League season does start on Saturday. doesn't seem as though Everton will be doing that deal before then. It seems unlikely at this moment in time, but it's football and anything can happen. But Calvin Phillips again being linked with a move to Goodison Park. Uh, Everton have also been linked today with uh, Borussia Dortmund striker Yusofa, Yusofa Mukoku. Uh, the young striker had looked set to move to Marseille, but that has fell through that deal. Uh, and he is now apparently being offered to Everton, who are on the look on the lookout for a striker. The report says he's played 99 times for Dortmund and scored 19 goals. He's got a better record at German under-21 level with 12 goals in 13 games. Uh, he's, he burst onto the scene at Dortmund as a 16-year-old. Got good movements. Uh, the problem, again, with this story is he just doesn't look like a Sean Dyke type centre-forward. He's sort of someone who I think would be better in a two. Um, but, again, we as we always say on the show, we are just reporting the transfer links and the transfer stories doing the rounds. And Mikoku to Everton is the latest one. And finally, on the transfer front, Johnny Cardoso <laughs> Is, uh, is being linked as well today. He is a midfield player. He plays for Real Betis. He's uh, 22 years of age. He played 17 times for them last season and scored a goal. He's being touted with a move to Everton today as a possible uh, alternate to Calvin Phillips if Everton can't get that deal over the line. Everton have been linked with a host of midfield players, I think. Without any other sales, it seems likely that Everton will only bring in one, maybe two loan plays maximum, but I think if Everton were to sell, and um, you know, there is players like Mason Holgate, Michael Keane, even Dominic Calvert Lewin, who still hasn't signed the new deal. If any of them are to go and it gives Everton a little bit of money, I think the Blues will try to bring in someone on a permanent deal. Still interested in Wilfred Nonto, um, interested in a fast wide player. And that's where the money may well go. But Everton do, it seems like anyway, have to raise money before they can do that deal. And finally, Richard Masters was speaking at the Premier League Open Day and referenced Everton Football Club, said, despite the perception, we have a very strong relationship with Everton Football Club. He said, we are fully aware Farad Mashiri is trying to sell the club and is speaking to interested parties. He said, in contrary to reports, we don't get to choose who buys Everton Football Club. All we do is the do the test, the owners and, and proper directors test once a deal has been agreed with the majority shareholder of Everton Football Club. We'll step in and just make sure legally everything is correct. But we do have a strong relationship with Everton. There you go, straight from the horse's mouth. Everton and Premier League have a good relationship. That is it for the news daily. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. See you later.